Hi, and congratulations on completing week seven, our review of wisdom literature in the Old Testament. Before we jump into looking at week seven, I wanted to do a quick look forward into week eight. Uh, first and foremost, uh, please be sure to have your assignments in on time uh, as this is the last week of the course. Second, um, please also be sure to do the course evaluation. Uh, as I had mentioned before, that's the way that I get judged. It's also the way the course gets judged uh, by Moody. So having your comments is important. And then uh, finally, similar to that, um, this is the first time we have run the new course. And while I haven't seen too many IT problems, please make me aware or uh, make Moody aware through your evaluation on changes that need to be made to this course. Uh, ideally, I mean, you feel free to evaluate the course under the course ev evaluation. That's why it's there. Uh, but because I am the course creator, I have access to go in and make changes to the course. Uh, so if you could email me if you have questions, comments, or thoughts on how the course could be improved for next semester, please send them to me. Uh, all right. So with that in mind, let's jump into the course. We, we had four lesson objections, objectives to identify the different elements that characterize the genre of wisdom, to apply a prescribed methodology for the interpretation of biblical wisdom texts, to compare a ministry application, to defend a theological position, and fifth, to identify the similarities and differences between Egyptian wisdom literature and biblical wisdom. So we had two different assignments one discussion post. The first was a um, chart to interpret Proverbs, and on whole, folks did very, very well. That I think almost the entire course made an A on this at some level. I was looking for some in-depth discussion uh, of both what the proverb means and how it could be used in a contemporary setting uh, as an ap application. If I felt that people kind of were, were just giving me a quick understanding and not an in-depth un understanding of how to use the proverb, uh, then you may have gotten a 92 or a 90 or a 95 um, as I was looking for a little more depth in your discussion. The same thing would happen if I felt that the conclusion uh, was really not trying to summarize in a uh, insightful and with depth and with interaction uh, with our reading and outside research for that conclusion. So um, some folks got 100, um, but the range of scores were typically between 90 and 100. Our second was a blog post comparing the teachings of Amenope um, with Proverbs. And for the blog post, I was really looking uh, first and foremost for examples and context. Uh, but just as importantly, I was looking for a blog style of writing, which is a more conversational and engaging style of writing. Uh, and if I felt like the paper was too academically minded and didn't really have that conversational style, um, then the score could be a 95 or a 92 uh, instead of receiving full marks. And then finally, we had a discussion post looking at suffering uh, in the Bible, and you were to write a, a one-page letter uh, to someone who you know who has endured suffering and is trying to determine why suffering exists. And again, on whole, all of the assignments were very good. Uh, I did feel like there was a little more compassion that could, could be shared in some, and if so, I made a note on that and might have taken a small deduction. Uh, I was also looking for a well-researched. Uh, you didn't have to you know, hammer over their head uh, with outside research, but I wanted to see some evidence of engagement uh, with others who have written on this topic and how they might be included in your letter. Uh, so you're almost there. We've almost finished uh, up the course. Oops. Well, there we go. Uh, thanks for all the hard work. Uh, I really do appreciate the effort that you've put in this semester. I know it's not easy. Uh, we all have lives outside of school. 
Uh, and so while you've been trying to balance work and family and other interests uh, and perhaps maintain a little bit of a normal life uh, while you're going through these courses is quite a commitment. And I, I appreciate the um, effort that you've put in and I appreciate the, the commitment um, to the course and to Moody and into your own education. I know God will use um, the information that you've gained and the knowledge that you've gained in mighty ways. So have a great day. I will talk to you soon and we'll see you at the end of week eight.